Installing your wood ventilated closet system is not difficult. With your design in hand and walls prepped, you are ready to begin. So, let's get started. Today we will install a 7 foot reach in closet. Our design includes a 30 inch wide shelf stack and 54 inches devoted to a high low double hang shelf and rod. First a word about pre-drilling. We use ash wood to make this beautiful shelving, the same wood that is used for baseball bats. Ash is known for its strength and durability. Therefore, pre-drilling is necessary to prevent this strong wood from splitting, so make sure you pre-drill all the holes for the screws. Using a tape measure, level, and pencil, draw a level line for all the shelving in your design on the back wall of the closet. Locate all the studs at this time and mark their locations along your level lines. Begin at the highest shelf and work your way down the wall. First, the back clips. The back clip secures the shelf to the back wall. They are installed along the level lines. Clip off anchors and install the back clips at stud locations using a number eight by one and a half inch screw spaced 12 to 16 inches apart. Standard wall end brackets are installed on side walls using a level tape measure and your lines on the back wall as your guide. On the side wall, locate and mark a point 11 and 1 quarter inches from the back wall. Then find a second point 12 and 1 half inches from the back wall and mark it as well. Position a plastic spiral anchor on each mark and screw into the drywall using a Phillips head screwdriver. Secure the wall end bracket to the wall with two number eight by one and a half inch screws. Wooden wall braces are installed level with sidewall lines. Hold the part firmly in place and pre-drill a one eighth inch pilot hole two inches from each edge all the way through the part enough to mark the locations on the wall. Then, screw in the plastic spiral anchors and secure with number eight by one and a half inch screws. Next, using a miter saw, trim each shelf and garment rod to the desired length. For wall-to-wall -wall shelving with plastic hardware, cut the shelf approximately five eighths inches shorter than the actual measurement. If your measurement falls on a slat, Increase the length so that the saw blade comes down between the slats. Look at your design to determine where the garment rod is located. Lay this out on a clean, smooth surface. Standard garment rod connectors called GRCs are attached two inches from each end of the garment rod. Additional interior connectors are necessary so that maximum spacing between them is not greater than 30 inches. First, attach the GRCs to the rod with number eight by one and a quarter inch screw. When using our continuous slide connectors, you will need to begin with a GRC at each end for stability. Then slide the CSC up until the top touches a slat. Then attach it to the shelf with a number six by five eighths inch screw. Next, attach the CSC to the rod in the same way. When shelving runs are more than 40 inches long, additional diagonal support will be needed. Called SA-12s or SA-16s, these supports are often placed near every garment rod connector. It is essential that as many diagonals as possible be installed at studs. Refer to the back wall of the closet for stud locations and measure and mark them on your shelf. Position and attach the support arm using a number eight by one inch screw. If you are using a support pole, set the top shelf into the hardware, level and clamp it to the support pole. Attach the shelf to the back clips with number six by five eighths inch screws. Next, from the back, pre-drill a pilot hole through the shelf into the vertical support pole and secure with number eight by one and a half inch screws. Continue with the lower shelving until all of the stack is finished. Place optional end caps on the shelving and rod according to your preference. And now you are done and the closet is ready to be filled. 